Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to import a phone list using the Phone List Manager so that the list can be used by the power dialer. Before we begin, when your dolphin is power dialing, you're calling a list of telephone numbers one right after the other. Your phone list needs to be organized so that the information about each contact is in the right location on your power dialer screen. To organize that information, we will be using the Phone List Manager with a process called mapping. We recommend that you load no more than 100,000 phone numbers in any one list or it will slow down your computer. If required by law, make sure your lists are scrubbed for Do Not Call or DNC numbers. Also, your phone list must be in the .csv file format. If your list is in the Excel.xls format and you don't know how to convert your file, please watch the How to Convert an Excel File to .csv or the How to Convert an Open Office File to .csv video tutorials before proceeding with this video. Now, let's begin. Open your Dolphin Power Seller and click on the Phone List Manager button. This opens the List Manager on the Import a New Phone List tab. Both the Step 1 and Step 2 buttons are used during the import process. Very important, you must complete both Step 1 and Step 2 to import a phone list. Now, to continue, click on Step 1. Click Yes. This opens the Import window. Make sure Variable Text Records is selected. The last file selected is retained by the Phone List Manager. The Power Seller includes this samplelist.csv file. The information in this list is not real and should not be used to make calls. Click the Browse button to locate your new phone list to be imported. In this example, I'll select the bizlist.csv file. Click the Open button. Now the new file is selected. The first few rows or records of your file will be displayed in the File Preview section below. A record is all of the data or information about one contact. Since we are importing a .csv file, the information should be separated by commas or double quotes and commas. Click Next to continue. The default settings are comma for the separator character and double quotes for the string delimiter. Make sure these are selected. In the file preview below, your file should look similar to this example file. Each record is broken down into columns or what are known as fields. If your list does not look similar to this example file, you should exit the Phone List Manager and go back to your Phone List Provider to get a comma separated file. If your file is in the proper format, click Next. This part of the import is called mapping and it's the most important part of the entire process. If the mapping is not done correctly, the Phone List Manager will not import your phone list properly and the information will be sent to the wrong fields in the database. There are two sections to this mapping window. The upper part shows the target and the source fields. The target is the database that is created when you import your phone list and the source is your CSV file. The target fields correspond to the database record format shown above. The lower part is the file preview of your CSV file and shows you the fields in your phone list. The column headings, field 1, field 2, etc. will be used in the source field above during the mapping. Note, only the first 20 records from your phone list are in this preview. Now, to continue. The Phone List Manager retains the last mapping that was done. This example shows the mapping of the sample list that is included with the Dolphin Power Seller. If this is the first time you've done this, we suggest you clear this mapping before mapping your new phone list so that mistakes are less likely to occur in the database. An important note, once you have mapped your first phone list, if all of your CSV files are always in the same field order, you do not need to clear and remap a new phone list since the last mapping is retained and should be the same for your new list. However, you should still check to make sure that the mapping is correct for your new phone list. 
If it's not, you'll need to clear the mapping and create a new one. To clear the mapping, go to the Source Field column and click on any row, click on the drop-down arrow, scroll up to the top of the box, and select Ignore All. Click OK. Notice that the Source field is now set to Ignored in every row. Down in the File Preview, look at your CSV file to see what source fields are available to map to the target fields. You may need to scroll to the right to see every column in your file. In this example, there are 11 source fields to map. If your phone list has a header row, as this one does, it will be easier to do the mapping. If you don't have a header row, you'll need to figure out what each field contains. Now we're ready to map the new phone list. Start at the top with the Target field. Click on Account Number. Notice the arrow to the left of the number 1. This is indicating that Account Number is selected. Since the example phone list doesn't have an account number, I don't need to map it, and I'll leave the Source field as Ignored. The next Target field is Company. Since this example is a business phone list, I'll map the company. In the Target field, click on Company. Notice the arrow to the left of the number 2, indicating that Company is selected. Now, locate the Company field in the CSV file below. In this example, the Company, or business name, is in Field 1. Click the Field 1 heading. Once the heading is clicked, the column turns blue, and the Source field above now shows Field 1. The Business Name field has now been mapped to the Database Records Company field. Very important, before you click on the next Target field, you should always check that the Source field you just assigned is correct. If you see that a Source field is not correct, just click back on the Target field that needs to be remapped and click on the correct field heading below. The Source field will change to the new field number. To continue, click on First Name to select it and find the First Name field below. Click on Field 4, Last Name, and Field 5, Contact, and Field 3. We would recommend that if your file has the first and last names together in one field, you should import to last name or contact. The next target field is the phone number. This is the most important field to be mapped. Phone 1 cannot be left as ignored. It must be mapped to the phone number or the phone list will not process correctly in Step 2. Now click on Phone 1 and Field 2. I'll continue mapping the remaining six fields. Scroll down until the next six fields are showing. Click on Address 1 and Field 6, City, and I'll scroll to the right and click on Field 7, State, Field 8, Zip, Field 9, Email, Field 10. The example doesn't have a website field. However, it does have a Number of Employees field. There are other target fields available, as well as 10 User fields that can be used for custom data. So I'll click on User 1 and Field 11 to map the Number of Employees to the User 1 field. Note, the target field names cannot be changed. However, you can change the names on the 10 green user field labels in the Power Dialer to add 10 additional customized fields for your phone list. If you don't know how to change the name of a label in the Power Dialer, please watch the How to Customize Buttons and Labels video tutorial. I have now mapped all of the fields for this example. Click Finish to start the importation. The amount of time it takes to import the file will depend on the size of your phone list and the speed of your computer. Once this part of the import is finished, you will be back on the Import a new phone list tab with your phone list now showing. Use the scroll bar at the bottom to move to the right to view all of the fields and make sure they are correct. especially the phone number field. 
it must be mapped to the phone one field in the database or the phone list will not process correctly in step two. If the file did not import properly, start over by clicking the Step 1 button. If your file is correct, you are ready to begin Step 2. Remember, you must complete both Step 1 and Step 2 to import a phone list. Step 2 cleans and prepares the list and allows you to name the phone list to be used by the power dialer. Now, click Step 2. Again, the time it takes depends on the size of your file and the speed of your computer. When it's finished, you need to create a name for the new phone list. After entering the name, click OK. Your new phone list is ready. Close the Phone List Manager and click on the Power Dialer button. Click Yes if you want to use the new phone list now. The new phone list name shows up at the top of the window and you're ready to begin using the power dialer. To get back to the Dolphin main menu, click File and select Exit. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.